fall in Maine, the air is starting to cool down. It's really giving me slow cooker vibes. So I wanted to share this simple slow cooker dog food recipe. A lot of people tell me that they just don't have time to make homemade dog food and I always recommend using a slow cooker or a pressure cooker. It's a really easy way to make dog food. It's kind of that set it and forget it method of the slow cooker that we're used to making meals for our human family and you can transition that really easily to pet food. Um, this recipe is kind of a basic recipe for the average dog. It's not going to meet the nutritional needs of every dog. So just be sure to check with your veterinarian to make sure that this recipe is going to be balanced for your pup. They may very well recommend adding some supplements or a multivitamin just to make sure that your dog's getting the nutrition that he needs. As the name suggests, this crock pot recipe is very simple. The first step is to add your protein source. I'm using three pounds of ground turkey. If you live in an area where other meat sources are more prevalent and uh, cheaper, such as lamb, venison, ostrich, um, I have people reach out sometimes asking about substituting some protein sources in homemade dog food because some of the things that are cheap here in Maine for me, like ground turkey, ground chicken, and ground beef, um, are a lot more expensive in other areas. So if you have another protein source that you'd like to substitute, you can certainly do so. Um, again, I'm using three pounds of ground chicken and I covered it with four cups of water. Now I'm just gonna set my solo cooker on low and we're gonna cook for three hours. You don't need to take the top off. You don't need to mix anything or uh, grind up the meat. Once it's cooked, you can use um, a spatula or a spoon to just break it up into small chunks. So just cover it, set it for three hours and forget about it. Once the ground turkey is cooked for three hours, we're gonna open up our slow cooker and you can break that ground turkey up into smaller pieces. And we're gonna add our remaining ingredients. So I have one and a half cups of dry brown rice, one cup of chopped zucchini, one cup of peas, one cup of green beans, and one cup of carrots. And once these are, have cooked for a little bit longer, the vegetables are all gonna get pretty squishy. So you don't have to really worry about cutting them up into small enough pieces for your dog because they're all gonna be able to mash together once it's cooked completely. So now we're just gonna put the top back on the slow cooker and we're gonna cook it on high for one more hour. And then your food is complete for serving size guidelines and all of the nutritional information. You can click the link below the video. Um, I have all of that information there and you can print the recipe out as well if you wanna share that with your veterinarian to get some tips on supplements or multivitamins that might need to be added for your dog.